Well, hello again. I'm back with another tutorial, this time to show you how to animate physics in Source Filmmaker. You do that by getting a script called SFM Fizz. And what it does, it basically allows you to do things like this. Now, if you wanted, you could animate that by hand, but it would probably take you a couple days, if not longer. So, what you want to do is go to SFM Box, look under Scripts, and find the SFM Fizz script. Go to Download Resources and find the zip here. Download it. See, I've downloaded it here already. It's in the zip file, just extract it. Click through until you get to show the user mod, SDK tools, and platform. Then what you want to do is go into your Source Filmmaker, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker, and Game. Highlight the three folders and just drag them over. It'll ask you to merge them. Just click yes and that's it, you're done. Then start up and set your scene, whatever you want to do. I have a thing placed here already. Now a couple things you want to know is that the script doesn't recognize the floor of the map. See what you can't see on here is there's walls hidden just underneath the floor and one back there. You can use any large flat model. I just used these because it was convenient. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to set them up. Once you get everything ready you have to set up the models to run with the script. So right click, go to Rig, and find Rig Physics. These are already set up. And you have to do that with every single one. Then once they're rigged, it'll add these extra options in here. Kinematic, bounce, friction, etc. What you want to focus on is the kinematic. That tells the model what to do, basically. By default, it's toward the left. It's down the end. And you have to be in motion editor or graph editor to use it. If it's all the way to the left, it's quote-unquote dynamic mode. A model that is in dynamic mode will react to physics. So I have these set up here. One is has a kinematic slider all the way to the right. One is to the left. So if you want to run the script Right-click, go to Rig, go to Fizz Simulate. Make sure you have only a portion of time selected. Don't have all of it. Otherwise, it won't work. So just go in. Wait for it to calculate. And there you go. See, the one that was set up in dynamic mode, that fell. And the other one just stayed where it was at. The same with the walls. The walls are set up in kinematic mode. What it basically does is it adds 
mass to an object. It tells it, oh, this is here. It actually exists in the world. So that's why this bale here doesn't fall through. It just lands on it. And when you run the simulation, if you don't like the results, you can just control Z and undo it. Or just go into edit, undo, and just rerun it. See, like I can switch these now. Move that one over there. Run it again. And there you go. The other selection you want to watch out for is shape. Right now, it, there's only two shapes available. It's a box and a sphere. Let me undo this. So if you set this one to change the shape, now it's in sphere. So it should react like a ball, basically. Yeah, that's weird. But you get the general idea. And you can tweak it however you want. There's also other settings to adjust the bounce, adjust the friction. Dampen basically controls how fast it moves, how long it takes to start up, how long it takes to slow down, things like that. And you just go through and adjust whatever settings you want, and you can do however you want. What I'm showing here is what happens with static props. Now if you wanted to do something a little more complex or use a more complex model, see I spawned a sniper here, you rig it the same way. Just set up the physics rig. What it'll do for models like this, it'll basically turn them into ragdolls. So if I run the simulation with this, I don't know why it does that. <laughs> it's a little quirk of the, the system. Now for more complex models, and the more models you have, the longer this will take. So keep that in mind. So yeah, that's basically it. Now you can experiment with it, tweak it to get different results. Mess with the settings, see what kind of effects you get. And you might have to run a simulation several times to get the effect that you want. Like with this, I had to do it probably a dozen times, if not more, to get it to look right. But, yeah, just experiment and see what you can come up with. There's more things that you can do with it. I'm just showing you the basics for right now. And I hope this helped you out.